Hey there, Ryan Kingsline speaking, founder of ZBrush Workshops. I want to unpack this anatomy of the face for artists workshop for you and give you a little hint of what you can expect uh, from the workshop. So first, the most important thing that you can expect is you get a complete and total package on the face. You get everything that you need and I'm going to point out a couple of things as I go here. One of them is you're going to get schematic drawings. So wait until you see those. The schematic drawings that we that I do right on the screen really help make the difference between just a normal anatomy class and one that lets you level up or helps you level up really fast. And that's my goal. I've been running this workshop in this particular part for a little while now. And the results that I'm getting from this workshop are better than almost any other workshop that I have. People are consistently getting really high quality results. So we take it all the way from a simple sphere. And if we switch over to one of these guys, let's go back into a red wax material in solo mode. You start piece by piece creating things and then eventually separating out the skull into two parts. We're going to start with the, uh, the skull itself. We're going to add the Let's turn solo mode off. We're going to add the mandible. We're going to put in teeth. And not only teeth, but we're going to actually go in and understand these teeth. And that's really important because one of the things that you'll learn when you study the anatomy is that this uh, canine teeth, they really form the plane break. And knowing that is really important because it also helps us understand the mouth shape itself. And we don't want to underestimate all these little tiny things that we eventually learn. We also pick up on forensic tissue markers. So what we do is take a simplified approach to all of this complicated facial reconstruction and kind of distill this down into a method that we as artists can use without doing a ton of research. And so here's the results that we've got and we're going to be using them and we do use them to help guide how uh, thick we sculpt the mentalis, the uh, mouth muscle, all of that stuff. So here we go with the frontalis, you know, the temporalis, let's turn the skull back on. All of these muscles piece by piece we end up sculpting and I show you exactly how to sculpt them, how to add them, I show you all the tools that you need to be putting this together and this is really one of the first times I feel like I'm actually just teaching uh, art here. Everything just comes together when I'm teaching this workshop because the tools for ZBrush 4 make it so easy. So if we just explode this real quick you can see all of these pieces, all of these parts. So you're going to learn how to do every single one of those. So let's get ourselves over into the workshop and let me show you what a workshop looks like at, uh, at our place. So here is the workshop page itself. Now when you sign in you get a my account page and this is my my account page so I see everything and you see some of the community here so uh, we've had some activity today and uh, you can send us files here, upload files here, and your workshops are going to be right here. Now we're going to click Anatomy for Artists. That's going to take you to the facial, Face Anatomy for Artists here. The lectures are on the left, so you can click Face and Landmarks. And then you get a little information about this lecture. You get the lecture itself, the assignment, and then the resources. So you just sit, play the lecture, take your notes, get ZBrush opened on the other screen, and start working away. So this first lecture we talk about uh, the landmarks of the face. We start talking about vocabulary so that we're on the exact same page. And we start talking about simplified forms. Now when you run into problems, come down to the question and answer section. Post your question in here that sends an email to me and my team and I will get back to you or somebody, another member of my team. Nine times out of ten you're going to hear from me because that's what is really important to 
uh, from me about ZBrush workshops. Uh, you have access, direct access to me, the person who created the lectures, the person who created the company, and I'm there to support you and take you to the next level. Now we're talking 28 different chapters here. So we've got landmarks, skull proportions, and here we start to apply a facial grid system to understand the uh, just the setup for the face. And so you get the reference that's actually provided there. And then we have other little things. Lip thickness, that's a nice little trick, something that we, uh, we can pick up from facial, facial reconstruction. Uh, but what I'm really proud of and what I think you're going to like the most is the in-depth schematic drawings. So I mentioned those earlier. And these schematic drawings that actually put the information directly on my model for you to copy. These drawings are invaluable for helping you get up to speed really, really fast. And they're accurate, solid, ready for you. So when you see these, print the screen, save it, and duplicate that the best that you can. And this is really what I think differentiates what we do from most of the other anatomy classes out there. We're not painting over your stuff here and there. I am showing you the detailed step-by-step -step results and showing you every single plane that you need to be able to duplicate what I'm doing. And we've been doing this for a while now. This came from the anatomy class. We did this in the master class. And I'm getting consistently great results from everybody who takes it. So sign up for this workshop. You will enjoy it. It's going to absolutely help level you up, help you understand those hard to, hard to learn areas like the frontal process of the maxilla and the lacrimal bone. And those are all the areas that, you know, the books don't cover, the courses don't cover, we cover it. So sign up for the workshop and I'll see you in there. Good luck and uh, happy Z brushing.